Hey everybody, welcome to the San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel. My name is Scott Schaefer, and today we're going to be driving down to Fair Play. Actually, I'm driving through Fair Play right now. So what we're going to do today is meet with the Carl State Forest Service Ranger on Steve Coates' property. Steve Coates' property is where I've been doing my harvesting for the last couple of uh, last month and a half or so. Uh, I just got hooked up with Steve about a month and a half ago through the Carl State Forest Service website. Uh, the State Forest Service has a program where he can actually, uh, if he clear cuts five acres a year uh, he can deem his land agricultural which gives him a huge tax break so how does he get the work done well also through the Colorado State Forest Service he finds craftsmen like myself who are also members and uh, he's asked us there's myself and Mitchell Dillman of Carl Rock and Logs and a few others that uh, go down there and, and they cut the standing dead they cut the usable standing dead and then he's got a few um, uh, firewood guys that go down there and cut the stuff that we don't take so so it's a great reuse of the wood it's not just going to the dump it's not all getting just burned it's getting turned into awesome furniture and it's uh, feeding a lot of local businesses everybody wins and it's all thanks to Colorado State Forest Service I'm gonna move um, northwest to the next spot here and we walked up so we walked up here and then hopped down through here. Yeah, we walked up here. Field. Okay. Here's that beginning mm -hmm. of that road that we walked up. Mm -hmm. Walked along the top here and then came down the front and then came down around this way. Yeah. And this was the area I kind of suggested to leave for yep. wildlife benefit. Well, the, we, we or this tip up here. This tip here is yeah. really um, pretty pretty decimated. A lot of dead aspens mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. I think the head, the heart of this forest might be good, okay. but this area right here really needs some work to, to have regeneration. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go walk through the forest now and uh, Matt's going to do his inspection and um, kind of talk about about uh, what Steve needs to do with his, what he's done, what he needs to do in the in next year. And uh, so it's going to be a lot of information coming our way. You basically you have some stakes out there. These yep. are five acre blocks you're looking at doing. Mm -hmm. You started right here. We're gonna, yep, we're gonna move here and here. Okay. Next year. So what we'll do today for the inspection for forest ag is we're gonna look at the area you already did, and then we're gonna look at the area you're gonna do next year. Perfect. That way I have a visual of what it looks like before and when I come back next year what it looks like after. And Scott and Mitchell are gonna really help me with this front edge here because he's got giant timbers. So that, you can see right down in there. Okay. So they'll work this area, um, and then we'll also build some trails that, that go lateral to the driveway. Here. Okay. Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about the program, why you got into the program? Well, it's, it's about stewardship of the forest. There's a lot of standing dead. Um, I've had this property for going on 20 years, and I can see the forest changing and, and evolving, and the, the, the life cycle of the aspens it's, just seems to be progressing with the drought and things like that, not getting enough water. So I'm going in and cleaning up uh, about five acres a year. Uh, that's the plan, doing what I can. Um, we've got a 107 acres, about 50 of it, 48 of it is, is, is forested. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a 10 year plan, lifetime worth of work. Um, so it's it's great having a partner with like Matt and the Colorado Forest Service to kind of tell me what to do, how to do it, and, and, and really be there as a partner. He's a counselor, he's yeah. advising me. Mm -hmm. He's, I mean, obviously trained in this and I'm not, um, so it's, Thing, what's, what to look for, what not to do, like don't cut down trees with bird nests in them and things like that. So, you know, some of that might be obvious, some of it may not be. This is where I took the tree out. And look at the little suckering coming in. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, give that time, give it moisture. I took another one right there. So those were some of the aspen that you transplanted? You transplanted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you choose those? Was it just it was good? easy to get to here. Okay. Yeah, was it were... good form or anything? Um, they were actually about, one was about this size. Hmm. Oh, okay. So you actually pulled yeah, decent yeah. caliper material. Yeah, this is about this big. Okay. And it didn't have any up chew on it. How did you, did you bring a spade in? Double. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> the thing's still alive? Yeah. Huh. Well, it's a statewide program. Uh, the State Forest Service works on private land and state land. So that's where we do our management. And, um, you know, for us, the benefit is working with landowners who care about the land. Um, to manage it, to make it better for future generations, to reduce fire danger. Um, we all know how bad fires are here. Um, so that's a big thing is, is trying to lower fire hazards on the property. 
and talking with neighbors and working with 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 the people in the community to try to improve the forest condition in the state of Colorado. So that's that's our big gain is healthy forests. And we have Steve is one of 65 landowners that I work with in Teller Park in El Paso counties um, who are doing just this managing for healthy forests. So that's that's our reward. I love to see the forest products come out. You're making furniture. I'm delivering some logs to other guys. Um, I visited one guy's shop and he says, yep, we made this piece of furniture, this cabinet, out of the logs that came off your property. So that's kind of cool. It's not. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's uh, you know, work was put into it, uh, turned it into something useful. It's not just going to, you know, it's not going to burn up somewhere. It's, it's going to now turn into uh, commerce for him mm -hmm. and something for people in Colorado to enjoy. So it's kind of a cycle. So Colorado State Forest Service is at the center of this whole program. We got the landowners, we've got the builders, craftsmen, and we have the consumers. And it's all Colorado, it's all local, and there's a lot of tax benefits for everybody too yeah. in this program. So yep. The tax break is big for the landowner, um, but the landowner pays puts a lot of money into yeah. the management. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's all documented every year, um, you know, that we want to see the tax savings go back into the land. Yeah. So that, that's, that's key. I look at that, too. I want to make sure that we are spending money back to make the land better. So, and Steve's doing that. Yeah. This, they're, they're oh, monsters. boy, look at that. Well, there's enough wood right there to make all kinds of nice furniture. So how, <laughs> how can uh, people get become a part of this program? Um, well... It is statewide. Uh, the State Forest Service has 17 districts across the state. Woodland Park is the one I work on, and it does cover those three counties, Park, Teller, and El Paso. So it depends on what county you live in. But all you have to do is contact us. Um, you know, we do have a website uh, that, that you can look at and contact your local forester. The minimum requirement is you have to own 40 acres of forested land. So. It's not for every landowner owner out there. It's for the larger parcels of private land ownership. Um, so that's the minimum is 40 acres of forest, and you got to have a 10-year management plan. So those are the two the two basics you got to have before you can come into the program. But even the smaller <laughs> landowners can come in and, and use resources Absolutely, to find yeah. people like me and other consumers. Any landowner yeah. can come. That that's my job is to work with private landowners. So even if you don't own 40 acres, if you own five acres and you have the same kind of management issues, you want to you want to reduce your fire danger, you want to create a healthier forest, you can still come into us and talk to us and we'll come out and look at your property and assess what we need to do um, to get to those goals that you want to reach. So yeah, you can just contact us, um, you know, look us up online and, and get a hold of your local forest or whatever county you live in. And um, you know, we'll come out and meet with you. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Hey, well, thanks, Yeah. Yeah.